actually not like i had so much to do though but but then you just have to have peace of mind when it comes to weekend when i have my co here with me and they really jelu good morning everyone hope you had a nice weekend because i had an amazing weekend thanks to my colleague he took me out and went together with his girlfriend though i don't have a girlfriend imagine him i was the only one without a girl there so i had no choice like just to look i was looking old but okay no butcher i don't know what Okpuja. i know but I, at least i still try to just like just make sure that I enjoyed myself, despite me not having a girlfriend at that scene. But regardless, I told him next time if I want to go out with her, just let me know. I'm going to bring my girlfriend. Whether the person accepted or not, I will surely bring the girl <laughs> together. But I had, a, I had a lot of fun about the weekend. It's been long I had a fun like that. Thanks to him, though. <laughs> All right, so let's start with the um, business of this morning. Starting the Punch newspaper. Yeah, no, cotton. Sorry, you. Stop inviting Ulubadon I chiefs to the same event. Mogaji tells Makindi, end representative crisis, focus on national issues, Clark advise, advises PDP. Almajiri and Nigerian learning crisis beyond the Castina Egypt. Ura praises Igalo after Cameroon win. I am not quitting politics now, says Gemadi. And on the Vanguard newspaper this morning, Clark to PDP accepts House decision on minority leadership position. Ruga IPOB accuses Southeast governors of selling out to killer X Men. Wow. Uber driver sells car, raises false theft alarm. <laughs> Uber driver, there's nothing we're not going to see in Lagos. No Southeast governor has allocated land for Ruga, says Archbishop Chukuma. And this can be found on the Vanguard newspaper. And for the Nation News headline Bayesa governorship, Wells stop APC. Sorry, let me take that again. Bayelsa governorship. Well, stop APC returning from clinching PDP tickets. Police apprehend six suspects crude oil thieves. Navy sees 825 bags of rice. Southern CAN warned residents to be vigilant. Ruga. One is a youth warned Northern Coalition over ultimatum. And that's all for the headline this morning. Please don't forget to pick up any of the newspapers to read more stories on them. We'll back shortly for the What's Up Legal segment. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. You are still live to Good Morning Lagos on Ibredo TV. This is what of Lagos segment where I tell you everything about entertainment and what is going on in Lagos. But the Lagos State Government has arrested Lagos State Police Command Raza has arrested a pastor for Paul for allegedly raping and impregnating a 15-year-old girl at his place of residence in the Igondo area of the state. The state police public relations officer, Bala El Kana, in a statement on Sunday said the mother of the victim discovered that her daughter was pregnant after she brought her to life with the suspect in Lagos. He said that the victim during interrogation said the suspect was responsible for the pregnancy, adding that he started having sexual intercourse with her in January 2018. So that means he has been and why did the daughter say anything? She's underage and probably must have threatened her not to tell anyone and again is a pastor. So. I don't know why this thing is coming in in terms with the Christian religion of the thing because we are still to get over this issue because I pastor on and Solar and Corona, this something else is coming. I mean, people are going to feel like, okay, why is this thing coming up in this particular religion, not the other one? No, it's actually in, in, in both religions, funny but enough. It's just as it this comes. moment, it is this this particular people that are that are in the news. I'm sure every, everyone is just trying to be careful. Okay, guys, for the religion, I think I, we need to tell our people that they don't need to just worship their leaders as if they are as they are God. They should worship God. And some of them say that okay, because you are a pastor, you are, you are imam, you can do anything. You can okay. send my children to pray this. Please, we need to reduce the kind of relationship we have with the pastors exactly. and this thing. If you know you want to talk to God, so my friend will say, if I want to talk to talk to God, I can just go in, sit down in my room, pray to God, pray, pray, lock myself, and God is going to. As I'm if him or her. So definitely going to the pastor and some pastors will be like, oh, because if you, if you want to do anything, you have to come through me first. And we don't know the kind of pastor these people are. Look at what has happened to this daughter now. Something. I mean, the drama is stigma that's going to be there forever and ever. Exactly. I just I just hope it's going to be sentenced. Yeah. Well, okay, also moving forward, police cancels Nagamali's show in 
Dublin due to gang violence. Now Amali moved all the way from Lagos, Nigeria to Republic of Ireland, Dublin. The police of the Republic of Ireland were reportedly forced to shut down an event headlined by Naramali on Saturday, July 6, 2019, after a gang of youths were spotted fleeing the scene. Immediately, the head Naramali is coming to Dublin for a show at the Dublin Live. The incident occurred at, Lost, at the Lost Lane just off Garton Street before Naramali looking, looking to take the stage. Police cancelled the they should before Nayamali decided to perform on the show. Thank you because immediately the Nayamali is coming from Nigeria to perform in uh, in Republic of Ireland. They decided to mm -hmm. get let just go. But the police felt that since Nayamali is coming to uh, to that place to perform, and people are going there. They feel okay. people that are going there are not going there just for them to watch him perform. But they are gangs member of one bad uh, a court or the other. So they said, okay, for us to avoid this kind of thing, we need to shut down this show. At the end of the day, Nayamali did not perform. Nayamali hmm. has carried Lagos character to Dublin, but well. This is money, and I'm sure they are going to. Whether he performed, although he is there, he did not uh, neglect the show. He was there, but he did not perform due to the issues of security threats or something like that. So yeah. definitely, he's going to be paid because yeah, he's, he's there. Well, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's all we have for for the What's Up Lagos segment today. We'll be back shortly for the police crew updates. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> This is political update where we tell you everything that is happening in the political scene in Nigeria. Farah State Governor Elijah Abdurrahman Abdurazak has approved the immediate release of the first tranche of 200 million naira as counterpart fund for the takeoff of rural assets and agricultural market project called RAMP 2. Funded by the World Bank, French Development Agency, and other donors' agencies, RAMP is a $60 million program involving at least 13 Nigerian states. Also, moving forward, the Independent National Electoral Commission chairman. Professor Mahmoud Yakub plan to speak very soon on the Sava controversy trailing the conduct and outcome of the 2019 general election. Yakub said since the Sava matter was an issue before the presidential election tribunal, he will speak after the final judgment on all petition. And that's all we have for you on political update. Let's see what the weather is saying. Don't go anywhere. Partly sunny is what the weather will be looking like this morning. Probability of wind is 65%, while humidity stands at 88%, which means I would have a mixture of sun and wind today here in Lagos. Exactly, just expect what is going to happen today. When it comes to weather, you never can put what's going to happen in Lagos. <laughs> all right, that's all we have for you today on, the, on Good Morning Lagos. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Ibile TV. Drop your comments on any of our platforms. Don't forget to like us on our social media pages at Ibile TV Lagos. Do ensure you have a wonderful week ahead. Bye for now.